Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A. Translate mathematical statements into algebraic equations. Letter B. Analyze and solve a variety of word problems involving quadratic equations and rational algebraic equations. And letter C. Realize the role of systematic planning in solving problems. These are the steps we need to follow in solving problems involving quadratic equation. The first one is we need to read and analyze the problem. After that, we need to represent the unknown. The next step is to form an equation. And the fourth step is we need to solve the equation. After solving the equation, we need to check and prove our answer. And for our last step, we need to make a conclusion. Let's solve our first problem. The length of a rectangle is 7 inches more than its width. Its area is equal to 228 square inches. Give the dimensions of the rectangle. So we are looking for the length and the width of the rectangle. So the first step is we need to identify the given. Length of a rectangle is 7 inches more than its width and the area is equal to 228 square inches. After we have identified the given, so we need to represent the problem. We will let the width of the rectangle be equal to x and then we will let the height of the rectangle x plus 7 since the length of a rectangle is 7 inches more, meaning to say we will add the length of the rectangle x by 7 inches. So, kaya naging x plus 7 dito. Then, after that, we will form an equation. Since we are dealing with the area of a rectangle, we need to use the formula in finding the area of the rectangle. And the formula is area is equal to length times width. All we need to do is to multiply the value of the length and the value of the width. So our equation will be the quantity x, the width of the rectangle, times the quantity x plus 7, which is the height of the rectangle, equals 228, which is the area of the rectangle. So this will be our equation. Then we will be simplifying this equation. x times x will be equal to x squared. x times 7 will be equal to 7x and then equals 228. And then after that, we will transpose 228 to the other side of the equation, positive 228. It will become negative 228. And then we will be solving for the roots of the quadratic equation. So we can use any methods that we have discussed last time. can be uh, completing the square, can be factoring quadratic formula, uh, any of those methods that will be applicable in this quadratic equation. So let's try to use the factoring method using the criss-cross method. So gagawa tayo ng cross dito, then we will get the factor of the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, which is 1. What is the factor of 1? So 1 times 1. So lalagay natin dito yung dalawang 1. Then after that, we will get the factor of negative 228. So the factors of negative 228 is 19 times negative 12. So one of those factor is 19 times negative 12. One is negative because positive times negative must be negative. And then 
we will be performing crisscross method. 1 times negative 12 will be equal to negative 12. 1 times 19 will be equal to 19. And then, dapat pag in natin yung nakuha natin sa crisscross method, dapat ang maging sagot dito ay plus 7, yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. So, 19 minus 12 will be equal to 7. So, tama yung mga nakuha natin sa ating crisscross method. So, pwede na natin makuha yung factors. So, yung 1 magiging x lang plus 19 times the quantity yung 1. Again, magiging x minus 12 equals 0. Then, we will be performing the zero product property. We just need to equate x plus 19 by 0. Then, transpose positive 19, it will become negative 19. So, the first root will be equal to negative 19. And for our second root, x minus 12 is equal to 0. Negative 12 transpose, it will become positive 12. So, our second root will be equal to positive 12. So, since we are looking for the length and the width of the rectangle, the value of the roots must be positive because we are dealing with dimension. So, wala dapat negative value. So, negative 19 is not our answer. Instead, the value of x will be equal to 12. So, therefore, the width of the rectangle is equal to 12 and the height of the rectangle is equal to 19. 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. Now, let's check our answer. So, if x is equal to 12, we will be substituting the value of x with the equation. So, 12 times the quantity 12 plus 7 is equal to 228. 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. 12 times 19 is equal to 228. So, 228 is equal to 228. So, pag nag-equal on both sides of the equation, therefore, the width of the rectangle is equal to 12 and its height is equal to 19. Ibig sabihin, tama yung nakuha natin mga answer. Let's solve our second example. The product of two consecutive even integers increased by 5 is 85. What are the integers? Let's identify first the given. So we have two consecutive even integers. When you say dalawang magkasunod na even number. And then their product increased by 5 is 85. So pag dinagdagan daw ng 5 yung product ng dalawang consecutive even integer, magiging equal siya sa 85. So let's try to represent the problem. So, yung magiging first integer daw ay gagawin nating x and the second integer will be equal to x plus 2. So, x plus 2 because they are two consecutive even integer. Kaya naging plus 2 dito. Nilagyan natin yung x ng plus 2. And then after that, let their product be equal to x times x plus 2. So, pag multiply lang natin yung first and second integer. And then, gagawa na tayo ng equation. Our equation will be the quantity x times x plus 2 plus 5. Since meron ditong increase by 5. So, this will be our equation. And it is equal by 85. So, this will be our equation for this problem. All we need to do is to simplify this by associative property. x times x will be equal to x squared x times 2 will be equal to 2x, bring down 5, then transpose positive 85 to the other side of the equation, positive it will become negative 85, and then combine like terms, 5 minus 85 is equal to negative 80, then solve natin yung roots, so gamit tayo ng factoring method, crisscross method tayo, what is the factor of the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term? So, yung numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay 1. So, ang factor ng 1 ay 1 times 1 lang. And then, ano yung factors ng negative 80? So, possible factors ng negative 80 is 10 times negative 8. So, 10 times negative 8 is negative 80. So, isang positive, isang negative para mag-negative yung sign dito. Tapos, gamit tayo ng crisscross method. 1 times negative 8 is equal to negative 8. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. 10 minus 8 is equal to positive 2. So, dapat positive 2 kung ano yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term pag 
pinag-add natin yung dalawang integers na naandito, dapat ito yung maging sagot. So, since tama yung naging sagot dito, ibig sabihin, tama yung mga nakuha natin factors. So, yung kanyang factors magiging, yung 1 magiging x, yung 10 magiging plus 10 times the quantity. Again, yung 1 magiging x minus 8 equals 0. Then, gamit na lang tayo ng zero product property. So, magiging x plus 10 is equal to 0. Positive 10, it will become negative 10. So, this will be our first root. And for our second root, x minus 8 is equal to 0. Transpose yung negative 8, magiging positive 8. So, the second root will be equal to 8. So, we have two possible roots. The first root will be equal to negative 10. And the second root will be equal to positive 8. So the first integer, if the first root is equal to negative 10, then x will be equal to negative 10. So this will be the first integer. And then for the second integer, if x is equal to negative 10, so we need to add this negative 10 plus 2 will be equal to negative 8. So we have negative 8 for the second integer. So the first integer is equal to negative 10, and the second integer is equal to negative 8. And if our second root is equal to 8, and then the first integer will be equal to 8, and the second integer will be equal to 8 plus 2, which is equal to 10. Let's check our answer. So if x is equal to negative 10, we will be using the equation quantity x times x plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 85. We will substitute the value of x, which is negative 10, with our equation. So magiging negative 10 times the quantity x is equal to negative 10 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 85. Then, bring down negative 10. Negative 10 plus 2 is equal to negative 8. Bring down plus 5 is equal to 85. Negative 10 times negative 8 is equal to positive 80 plus 5 is equal to 85. 80 plus 5 is equal to 85. So, 85 will be equal to 85. So, therefore, our first root negative 10 is correct. How about our second root if x is equal to 8? Again, substitute the value of x which is equal to 8 with our equation. So 8 plus 2 will be equal to 10. 8 times 10 will be equal to 80. 80 plus 5 will be equal to 85. So again, if both sides of the equation is equal with each other, then the answer will be correct. Therefore, the two consecutive even integers are 8, 10, and negative 10, negative 8. Let's have our next problem. What positive number exceeds 3 times its reciprocal by 2? Let's identify the given. So our given will be a positive number. And the other one is the positive number is 3 times its reciprocal by 2. Let's represent our problem. Let the positive number be equal to x. And then, let its reciprocal be equal to 1 over x, since the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. Let's form an equation. So our equation will be equal to x, which is the positive number, equals 3, because we have 3 times. So meaning to say, we will multiply this. We will multiply 3 times its reciprocal. So 3 times the quantity 1 over x by 2. So we have plus 2 here. So we have plus 2 here because it exceeds by 2. So ito yung magiging equation natin. x is equal to 3 times the quantity 1 over x plus 2. We will simplify this rational equation papuntang quadratic equation. So we have x is equal to 3 times 1 will be equal to 3 all over x plus 2. And then after that, we will multiply this both sides by x. So x times x will be equal to x squared. x divided by x will be cancelled out. So 3 na lang yung matitira. Then 2 times x will be equal to 2x. Then gawin natin tong quadratic equation in standard form. So magiging x squared Transpose natin yung positive 2x, positive magiging negative. Transpose natin yung positive 3, positive magiging negative. So, equal 0. Then, solve na natin siya using the factoring method para mabilis. So, crisscross method lang. So, factor ng x squared, numerical coefficient ng x squared, we have 1. Factors ng 1 is 1 times 1. Then, 
factors ng negative 3 is 1 times 3. Kaya lang negative yung sign dito. Kaya dapat yung isang number ay may negative sign. So, gawin natin negative yung 3. So, negative 3 times 1 ay negative 3. Then, perform natin yung crisscross method. 1 times 1 will be equal to 1. 1 times negative 3 will be equal to negative 3. Pag in natin yung dalawang number na to, dapat ang maging sagot ay yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. So, negative 3 plus 1 will be equal to negative 2. So, tama yung uh, crisscross method natin. So, factor na natin sa so magiging x minus 3 times the quantity yung 1 magiging x plus 1. Then, let's perform the zero product property. Equate lang natin sa zero yung x minus 3. Then, equate din natin yung x plus 1 by zero. Then, x minus 3 will be equal to 3. Transpose negative 3 will become positive 3. Yung positive 1 transpose magiging negative 1. So, the first root will be equal to positive 3. And the second root will be equal to negative 1. So, since we are looking for a positive number, ibig sabihin, hindi natin magiging sagot yung negative 1. Kasi this is a negative number. So, the answer will be equal to 3. So, x will be equal to 3. So, let's check our answer. So, if x is equal to 3, substitute lang natin yung value ng x sa ating equation. So, yung 1 over x magiging 1 third. So, bring down yung 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3 divided by 3 will be equal to 1 plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung nakuha nating sagot. Therefore, the positive number that exceeds 3 times its reciprocal by 2 is equal to 3. So we have 8 and 10 if the value of the root is equal to 8.